Let me get a frag out to the... No, I can't get a grenade out to him. Oh, fuck. Yeah, this is uh, team. Team, uh, go ahead and open fire. Uh, yeah, go ahead go ahead and open fire. Uh, I I got a little greedy here. I may or may not have gotten a little greedy. Look to all and welcome, everybody. My name is Black Hollow and this is Ghost Recon Wildlands. Welcome back to San Mateo, everybody, where today we're going to be grabbing the bull by the horns and going for the two big story missions that we loaded up in the last episode. For those of you guys that need a little bit of a recap, uh, well, what happened was we got intel on a prison up north nestled in the mountains called La Carcel de Pueblo, where they're holding a couple of uh, rebels that have information on all the people who have disappeared by the hands of the stew maker. And hopefully we should be able to get some intel on that. So I'll be venturing up there to free those prisoners. And then I'll be coming back down here to Prison Rosario, which is the prison that we passed in the last episode. Now, uh, before we go up north and go to La Carcel de Pueblo, uh, Pueblo uh, we are going to be gathering up a little bit of intel on Prison Rosario. Why? Because if you guys remember from the last video, that place is fortified as fuck. So we are going to be doing a night up on that particular mission. Um, and I'm going to gather the intel during the day. I'll devise the plan. Then we'll go up north. We'll go liberate those, uh, those rebels, free them from the prison, and get all of the intel that they have to offer. And then we'll come back down here to Prison Rosario. Now, if memory serves, it's just a little bit to the west. Yeah, we're going in the correct direction. Looking at the topography of the map, if you guys see, obviously, we drove down this road. Um... And that's where the wall was. The topography shows that this is inside of a basin. And there's also, if I can see here, uh, a couple different levels within there. We can use this position over here for Overwatch. And I believe the smoke is coming from, yeah, there it is. This uh, this set of ruins over here, some sort of settlement or something like that. So uh, if I leave the bike here, then I'll be able to move forward on foot. Try to find a good uh, cliff to just, you know, go up on. And uh, I see a chopper actually moving in. So I'm going to have to take cover and make sure that this sucker doesn't see me. I think I should be okay, but damn, is he close. I, I took a long time, by the way, to try to get my camo just right for the region. There's so many... Oh, feels bad, man. Cartel just put up a wall and turned the whole village into a prison. We're close. Same as before. Get inside, find the warden's office, search it for intel on the missing people. There have to be answers behind those walls. Let's move. Alrighty, so we gotta get inside the walls, find the warden's computer, and uh, get the intel off of it. Um, I think what I'm gonna do here, you guys, let's go ahead... And go prone, push up a little ways, and we'll start off with the binoculars. Let's see what we can see before we start pushing up any closer. Again, I'm just going to be doing some recon and intel, and it's for this exact reason. As I can, as I can, you know, tell from just this few seconds of observing, heavily fortified entrances, a lot of observation posts, several gunners' nests. Um, and uh, a lot of heavies. This is going to be a difficult base to penetrate. Um, and it looks like they even have fucking cadavers out front to deter people. Effigies, I think, would be the correct term. Uh, looks like we have a big observation post right there with a gun, uh, big gun in it, a uh, minigun or uh, turret, whatever. Got an alarm right there and another alarm down here. So I'm going to have to take out both of those. We got some light panels and a couple of other things. Guys, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my spotting skill. And then I'll take a couple of uh, a couple of minutes to just spot as many guys as I possibly can with my drone. I'll devise a plan and I will talk to you in just a second here. Bingo. Beautiful. Okay. I've marked almost everybody uh, that I would like to mark everyone else is in a building or in an observation post of sorts. Oh, and uh, I'm very happy that I look back there. Okay. I think I have a good plan, you guys, and I think I'm going to go ahead and use my binoculars to talk you through it. So, obviously, every single entrance is heavily fortified and this place is just surrounded by a barbed wired wall. But if you guys look out here... There are some gaps in the wall, and it is not because it's not rendering in, it's just shoddy craftsmanship because you can see that this one is completely rendered in right over here. So here's my plan. I've taken a lot of time and consideration, uh, and here's what I think we're going to do. Uh, we're going to halo jump from about 3 kilometers up, 2.5 at the minimum. I'm going to send the chopper in a trajectory out into the field over there so that that way it doesn't careen into the village. Um, and, uh, and then we can uh, touch down someplace over here, either on the rock ledge, uh, down on the bottom. It doesn't matter. My first priority, though, is taking out this guy so that I can basically go up there. Now, uh, these guys over here have incredibly wide pathing, so I'm going to need to be very careful of any foot patrols once I get down on the ground. Um, but once I establish a secure perimeter around this area, I'm going to use this observation post um, to mark as many people as I possibly can. Obviously, some enemies are going to be going to bed here. Uh, a lot of people have big, wide pathing, so I'm sure that we are going to see a generous reduction 
in a lot of the ground uh, units. The ones that are on the high posts, I'm thinking that they're going to stay. I'm going to have to deal with a lot of guys in the gun nests and stuff. So uh, once we have this established either from here or if I advance down here, one of the two, I'll take some shots at the alarm system. Uh, and this one down here. Also, if I find the opportunity to take out the mortar operator, I will do it. However, if things pop off, I just need to make sure that I prioritize him first and foremost. It may be difficult, though, because of that building being in the way. So I don't know if I'll want to preemptively take him out. We'll see how it goes. If all goes to plan, I won't even need to shoot him at all. So anyway, I digress. We're going to come down here, uh, jump down the half wall, and then drop down over here or behind. It really doesn't matter to me. Contingency plan if there is barbed wire here or for whatever the reason I can't make the drop. Uh, I'll climb up over here. I can backtrack, climb up over here as well. Drop down, drop around, and go down over here. And then I'm right on the level that I want to be on. Um, thank God I marked that guy. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Um, now I'm going to be able to move in on what I think is the warden's office. After doing a lot of observation on all of the houses that are around here, I do not believe any of these other places are the warden's office. The only other place uh, or places that I would put my money on is this place right here and this place right here. Why do I think this one is the warden's office? Well, multiple reasons, including the fact that it's one of the most fortified areas in the map. I mean, you have to go to the stairs to get to it. You, It's far back behind several buildings. It makes sense the warden's office wouldn't be on the lower floor. On top of that, there's several people patrolling the perimeter around it, and it just feels like an office. So that is going to be where we shoot for. After we drop down right here, I'll push up, see if I can find the computer inside of this building. If I don't, I'm going to check this building, then I will check this building. Building. Uh, and then from there, hopefully, if I'm wrong in all three accounts, then I'll be able to find it someplace. I figure it's going to pop off by the time I get to the end. Um, and then the tricky part, evac. There is no real easy way, I think, to evac out of here, except if those are stairs. In which case, what we will do is hightail it out the way that we came in. Uh, I'll have to call in a chopper. There's another route that I could also take down here on the back side of the hill uh, and find something down there. However, it's just going to be it's going to be one of those missions where evac is going to be a little difficult. I may even need to seal a car down there. So without too much more further ado, you guys, that is going to be the plan for later. We're going to stick to it to a T. It's going to be a beautiful night ops mission. But for now, it's time for us to get up to the north to uh, Carcel del Pueblo um, and uh, see if we can free the rebels that are up there. In my opinion, having a well-devised plan with contingencies in place for both uh, insertion and extract uh, is the best way to achieve success in Wildlands, especially when you're dealing with a province in the upper echelons of difficulty um, and also in the overall difficulty of the game. Um, so I, I just, I don't know. I, I know that a lot of you guys maybe don't want to see the planning portion, but that to me is just the most important part to ensure uh, that I deliver a good performance and, and I don't fuck up. <laughs> but speaking of fuck ups, this right here is going to be likely a giant ass shit show. This is uh, La Carcel del Pueblo, or Puebla, or Pueblo, I think would be the correct term for it. Um, and uh, I'll just go ahead, I think, and queue up the briefing while we're here. The cartel keeps its high value prisoners at a camp up in the mountains called La Carcel del Pueblo. Pueblo. Liberate the prisoners and find out what they know about the disappearances. Okay, so as you can see from the geography of this place, it looks like it's a fucking geo jail. All they need is a roof on the top, man, and it would just be an entirely enclosed building. Um, I think what I'm gonna do, based on the topography, uh, in the surrounding area, I am going to go ahead and uh, it's kind of tempting to set down on the left hand side. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and set down on the left way over here uh, on the uh, on the east side of the uh, of, of the entryway. And I should be able to advance, hopefully, and gain some positions, get some intel on where these guys are at. I'm going to try to do this quickly. Obviously, we're going to be freeing some prisoners. So. One way or another, it's probably going to pop off. I don't foresee us taking out absolutely everyone in this base. And it also sounds like we've got a... a Watch your background once we start throwing lead. Yeah. Seeing those prisoners is priority. Yep. Let's go. Yep, exactly. So basically, I'm just going to... I'm going to get in there and I'm going to free the prisoners as quick as possible. It looks like we have one guy observation post right there. Um, We've got one more guy right down here. Let me go ahead and mark him. And it looks like he's actually... He is, cl no, no, he's got his buddy right there. Okay, so I think I'm going to go semi-auto and we'll go boom on that. Oh, God, I was on three-round burst. Okay, and then we'll go boom on that guy. Beautiful. Okay, sniper's got to go down, so I'm going to just take him out with one carefully placed headshot. Looks like we've got one guy at the base 
of that sniper tower and then one maybe behind him uh we've obviously got the thunderstorm moving in so i do want to get off high ground as quick as possible this size operation the jail cells unlock automatically when the <laughs> power goes out <laughs> so we take out the jenny we gotta find it first come on you know what i would say that the power going out in the middle of a thunderstorm is the perfect cover absolutely perfect this couldn't have gone any better Let's go ahead and mark this guy over here if I can. And wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How's this guy up? <gasps> oh, we got a guy that's danger close. And because of that, I'm going to go take him out. And then I'm going to steal his fucking observation area. And I should be able to get some better shots on guys. All right. Let's see here. Suppressor on. Ready to go. And swift headshot. Boom. Beautiful. Okay. I love that when they don't make a sound. Sometimes when you shoot them in the face, they're like, Bruh! but... Would that really happen? I don't think so. Maybe. I don't know. I don't I, like legitimately. I do not know. <laughs> so I don't know if it would actually happen or not. Okay. We got an alarm in the front. I'm going to need to take that out. Looks like we got a captain right there. Another guy someplace around here, but I think he might be actually inside of the building based on where the heat signature is coming from. I've got two enemies out front and it looks like I've got another guy in here, right? Uh, okay, so I got the, uh, wait, who just got marked? I'm not entirely sure who got marked. Uh, oh, somebody in there. Okay, all right. I was like, oh, uh, is he close to me? Hopefully not. Okay, let me see if I can get a spot on this guy. Yeah, there we go. Got him. And then there's going to be one more way down. Oh, it is the sniper. Okay, I never took that guy out. Good. I'm glad I got the spot on him. And then there's that guy down there. One more inside of this building. And then we'll have everybody marked that's on this, uh, that's on this entry area beautiful got a cheeky spot on him i'll fly the drone over here and disable it it'll just go off into the cliff okay so now we've got the two guys that are right there in the building they've got some pathing about them i think first and foremost i'm just gonna go on this guy and it's uh, over 100 meters so i'm just gonna take my uh i'm gonna take my hdi out and we'll use this anybody close to me it doesn't look like it so we'll take him out prom dog down um let me see here i got the captain right in the front but he, there's sight lines other enemies close by uh, the other guys in the front, I think, shit, should this be the time where I drop down? Should I try to find a way to drop down here? I think I will. I think I can get all the way down. I might be able to, hang on, let me see here, if I can just rotate over here, and it looks like we've got both of these guys inside of this building. That is going to be sort of precarious. I don't know how, uh, confident I am about that. There we go, nice, I got a little bit worried there. Okay, it looks like I can indeed run across... This ledge. Oh, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Oh, thank, thank God. <laughs> After that last fall that I had not that long ago, like, I just get really scared at... <gasps> no, 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 no. Okay, he's dead. We're suspected. Wait for it. Fuck, fuck. Both dead. Shot heard. By who? These guys over here? Okay, we gotta move quick. We gotta move quick. We gotta move really, really quick here. Captain and Mike calling the position. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go into the doorway. Go into the doorway. I hit him once. He's dead. Okay. Looks like these guys are going to see me. They didn't get any shots off, though. Nobody's gotten shots off. The shots have been heard, but nobody's gotten shots off. Three round bursts ready to go on both these guys. Here we go. And boom. Boom. Beautiful. Okay, we're clear. Oh, my God. We recovered. Uh, are other people alerted to the sounds? I think they might be. Yep. They, they are. We're hunted right now. We are definitely hunted. Okay, so we've got some guys moving in on the main position. I think what I'm going to do then, you guys. Hang on. Let me see here. No, no, no. I see him. I see him right there. Oh, shit. Okay, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. And he's dead. Okay. His buddy knows where I'm at now. Wait for it. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and go hot, team. Open fire. Let's fucking go. That really sucked. I didn't think I was going to get spotted from behind, but I did. At least it enables us to go ahead and advance into this place. Oh, fuck. That's right. The alarms. I completely forgot to take the alarms out. That was going to be the last thing that I did while I was down there. Shit, 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 shit. I sh <laughs> this is why we have a plan for the second mission because when I don't have a plan things usually pop off It was a little unfortunate having that guy right there in the doorway. I should have popped him. I mean, I I did pop him But then the guys in the other place heard I don't know if there was really any way I could have gotten that to go off without a hitch now uh, what I need to do here is go in on this generator, which I believe is where the waypoint is. Looks like it's about 75 meters out and we're closing. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we're going to hop up over here. Lots of contact, lots of contact, lots of rounds coming down range. Okay, I'm going to go ahead then and deploy a drone. Uh, looks like a grenade came out on me right there. Uh, team, hold your own the best that you can. I will be calling in 
a mortar strike right here. Midas, you might want to get the fuck out of there. Just, uh, you know, a little suggestion. I don't know if you can see exactly where the mortar's coming in from, but... Oh, boy. Yeah. It, uh, yeah. 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 We got a sniper? Where? Fuck. Okay, we got a guy up here spamming shots. He's dead. Beautiful. I'm gonna go back to semi-auto. I don't really like the three-round burst. We've also got guys behind us, so I think to take them out, I'm just gonna go ahead and... Oh, shit. People are taking a... I should have known that they were gonna do that. I should have fucking known that they were gonna do that. I just thought that maybe my team might have cleared out a little bit more or they would be... Uh, they'd be aggroed on them. Wait, the Jenny's down? What? I thought... It's been down for a while. How did I just get the alert for that? Probably because I walked next to the place. There's a guy someplace around here, and I think he's on the second story. He's the last one. Midas is moving in on him, I think. Uh, no, I don't see him. Okay, there's going to be one over here at the G28. He got, he got, got Jenny back down. there. I don't know. Someone killed him. Let's talk to one of these prisoners, see what we can find out about the disappearances. We got one at 100 meters out there. Like I said, you guys, this place was going to pop off one way or another. It's a fucking prison, like, and we're here to bust people out. It was going to pop off. Oh, no. Don't, okay, I was going to say, don't tell me that I'm stuck. I just want to climb around. Uh, I think I might be able to get around. Yeah, over here. It looks like we've got one guy. We're still hunted, and I think only by him. So let me go ahead and identify where he's at. I think he's going to be in here. So let's go ahead and go thermal for this one little push, and he is dead. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, we got the weapons case up here. G28. This is going to be really, really nice to have for any uh, medium range. Wait, what? What? What did I? Oh, that's ammo. I'm an idiot. Okay, there we go. Oh, God. There we go. Got the G28. Fantastic. So that's going to be good for taking over, um, you know, medium range engagements and stuff like that. Looks like we got a chopper overhead. We've also got some enemies back there, but I don't think that they give a shit about us. Okay. Before anyone else moves in and starts, you know, going on the... Pro oh, no. Yeah. They're, they're coming in as backup, I think. Let's go ahead and make this a priority to get to the prisoner as soon as possible and talk with him. There's no one at the enemy's last known position. you damn right there's no one at the enemy's last known position. But it looks like these guys are going to spot us right here. Okay, here's to hoping that the rebel turns around and engages with us. Here we go. Okay, he's down. I believe that was the only one. You okay, buddy? God, I think it saved his life. I thought that my, uh, I thought my suppressor was on, but I guess not. Looks like they're calling in more reinforcements right now, so I have got to push up. Hey, buddy, I'll pick you to talk to. How's it going? You want to chat? Hey, I need your help with something. Please and thank to you. Figure out what happens to the people who disappear in San Mateo. Yeah. What happens to Demi's El Pozolero? The stew maker. The stew maker. Where are they? He makes stew. He corpses and stuffs them into oil drums, then covers them with lejia. What's the English? Lie. Caustic soda. Okay. <laughs> Sosa caustica. Within a few days, the bodies in the oil drums well. There are no bodies left to find. Oh. So now we've got a name. We need more info on El Pozolero. Fuck. Oh, He's shit. He's the only one who can lead us to any of the remains. I don't understand why they didn't go down. I lit them up right there. I think it was the chain link fence. And I also probably missed all the shots, too. <laughs> all right. Well, we freed the prisoners, everybody. That is going to do it for this one. Nighttime is falling slowly. Uh, it was a little bit later in the day when I got down here. But I think what I'm going to do is come up and get some more um, uh, resource raid. Er, no, no, no. I'm going to get the rebel raid missions and stuff like that to upgrade some of the uh, some of the rebel side ops because I believe I've gotten all the weapons the bonus medals Did I get actually did I get the bonus medal for this place? I think I did. Yeah, there it is right there Okay, it actually I'm glad that I checked that because it's at oh, it's down here Uh, it's at the uh, it's at the prison that uh prison rosario the place that we're going next Um, so I will have to make sure I try to find a way to get down there and uh Which one would I go on is it one or three? I can't remember is it one? It's three. I think it's three. Is it three? Got the location of a supply drop. Yeah! He's ready to track it down. Nice. We've got five rebel op positions marked on the map in San Mateo. That's going to make fun for some live streams in the future. Um, okay, so I think what I'm going to do now, you guys, is evac with the chopper that I believe I saw located in the back of the base. Um, I don't need any of the supplies. Like, seriously, all I need are skill points right now. I can level up everything. I got like 30,000 in all of the supplies altogether. So I'm just going to leave them uh, and we can push back. Go find the chopper and get the fuck out of here and go on the night op. Wow, that was epic. Holy crap, you guys. Based 
on the weather i think it is going to be not only a night op but it's going to be a wet one as well i'm simply waiting for the sun to set at which point i'm going to go ahead and jump up into the chopper and venture the giant distance into the sky it's literally like 500 meters that way but three kilometers up so it's going to be an interesting take off but either way this is going to be the outfit based on the nature of the mission i'm leaving behind the hti and we're taking the sr1 for those of you guys that can't remember this weapon it was the one that we retrieved in kiwani not all that long ago and you know it's not great at taking choppers out uh so it's something that does concern me however if we do this mission correctly no one's even going to know that we were there i've got the plan all ready to go and all we have to do is wait for the sun to set a little bit more. I'll get to altitude and we can get this show on the road. 10 p.m. is the perfect op time, you guys. So I think I'm going to go ahead and call Bowman because I'm about to have a lot of wind whooshing past my ears. See what she has to say for the final time and let's get in position for the jump. Rosario Village has been turned into a cartel prison camp. Search the warden's office for intel on the prisoners who've been held there. It might give us a lead on the disappearances. Alrighty, so all we have to do is find the warden's office and go for it. What do you think El Sueño was like as a kid? <laughs> pulled the wings off flies. Yeah. Turned to answer the magnifying glass. Yeah. He had cats over clotheslines. Yeah. Maybe he had a cocaine stand. <laughs> Junior achievement. Junior achievement. Violent video games. I don't believe that shit. That yeah. Games make God, that's in the news now today. Other people. Other people. What an insightful fucking conversation. And on that note, you guys, let's go ahead and send this chopper off into the field. Here we go. Final tip and bingo. Beautiful. Had to wait for it to be in the right position. I can't have it crash down into the fucking jail that we're going on. Let me go ahead and get set up in the pattern here and see if I can, uh, if I can find an easy way uh, to get down onto the ledge that I want to be on. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to mark it. God, I hope I don't get struck by lightning here. <laughs> um, I wasn't able to mark it uh, while I was uh, while, while I was staging up. Okay, let me see here. I'm going to go ahead and make the flip now. There we go. This should be good. Bled off enough altitude. Let's go ahead and start, uh, start aiming a little bit more. I am on the keyboard right now. My controller's not hooked up, so uh, it's going to be a little bit more... A little bit more tappy and less fine tuny if you know what I mean. Let me go ahead and find this perfect spot right here. Almost there, almost there, boom, pulling the chute. Fantastic. We're gonna drop down right on this ledge and we are almost, come on baby, come on. Boots down, beautiful. Right on an observation post of sorts and I can go ahead and turn on night vision. You guys, here we go, mission's on. First things first. Going to deploy a drone. Uh, we obviously don't have the drone jam or anything like that that we need to worry about. Looks like the sniper is inside. Right Go there. figure. It's fucking raining outside, so I don't understand why he wouldn't want to be, uh, why he wouldn't want to be outside in the rain. I think what I'm going to do here is I am going to call in uh, the spotting uh, ability and get it all right. There. There we go. Let's get as many guys marked as we possibly can down there. Uh, the bonus metal is going to be down there as well. Looks like we've got a generator marked. Let me get the alarms in sight. Looks like we've got the one and the second one. We've got the mortar over there. Yeah, they do have mortars. We've got the light panels marked as well. Okay, I don't need to worry about any of those guys down there. As long as it doesn't pop off. That's the only time. <gasps> oh my god. There are prisoners. Holy fucking hell. I can free the prisoners. I, I don't have access to a shot on that one, though. That's unfortunate. Um, I don't know if I'll need to do it. You know what? I could do it. I could do it right before I pop off on everything else uh, and start eliminating enemies down here. That is not a bad idea. Also, the generator provides me direct access to pretty much everything uh, to shut down all of the surrounding electrical devices. So all the lights turn off. Uh, however, the alarms, I think that I have to get those on my own. Now, one of the things that I'm a little disappointed about is the fact that I don't have the HDI because of how long uh, the drop was going to be. I didn't want to take a rifle that big. Uh, so we're going to have to gauge the distance of this shot. Hopefully, I'm right at the 300 meter mark there. I think that that's where I need to place my place my uh, uh, my crosshair, but I just don't know. I really don't know. So let's uh, let's hope that I get lucky here. Let me just wait for the sheen one more time. Looks like we're good. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Fuck. It wasn't there. It's right there. It's because I'm shooting downhill. Okay. So, and it also has a little bit more oomph to it than I would have thought. It's a bullpup design, uh, and I have the. Uh, I have the short barrel on it, so I wasn't sure how it was gonna how it was gonna work out. Now the next alarm that I need to take out 
Uh, the box, I believe, is on the other side. Or no, it's right. That's it right there. Fantastic. Okay, that's down. Don't need to worry about that anymore. Now, uh, we have these two enemies right here that I never, ever, 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 ever want to have to deal with ever. So I think what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to tell my team, go ahead and hold right there. And that way they can have a position of overwatch. And now I'm going to drop down. Hopefully the guy above doesn't hear. No, he does not. Gonna move up on these guys. They don't hear a thing in the rain. Man, feels bad. They don't even have a jacket. They're not even gonna get a proper burial. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, well, I wanted all of them dead anyway, so it works out. <laughs> Holy shit. I wasn't gonna have that pop off like that, man. I want to do this by the book. Okay, it looks like this guy is actually very, very alone out here. I think what I'm gonna do is continue down just like the plan stated and go to the half wall, take those guys out down there. But if this guy is alone, then it's like, you know, why not? Um, I don't know what he's doing, but he is isolated as all hell. Oh, he's on the upper level. Okay, I see, I see. Uh, yeah, I can kind of see him right there. You know what? I might be able to, I might be able to actually swing this because I have to get down onto this wall. Anyway, that was luck right there. Come on, come on. It can be a little glitchy, but damn, is it worth it to drop down rock face ledges. Okay, let me see here. I'm going to go on the sidearm, make sure the suppressor's equipped that it is, and here we go. Boom, boom. Double tap. I hit the barbed wire, but it doesn't look like anybody cares, and it also looks like this guy over here. Oh, shit. Yes. Yep. It's going to be right in front of me, isn't it? I totally fucking knew that this was the warden's office, man. I fucking knew it. Okay. Uh, let me see here. We've got... This guy, he is isolated. Uh, two enemies behind. I, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Yeah, let's go on him. Okay, he's down. Don't have to worry about anyone else. Uh, the two enemies that are down low, I don't need to worry about them at all. Um, God, I'm just... I'm. It's, it's the plan. It's literally working the way that I wanted it to. Okay, I'm fairly certain that they were talking about this building right over here. Because, obviously, the prompt happened when I walked up to this building. So, let me go ahead... And slowly make my way around. I do believe that, yeah. Okay, we've got a light interior, lighted interior. Um, let me see here. Yes! Yes! Fucking get it all! All of it! Everything! Fucking all of it! Oh my god! Um... Well, that's a problem. We've got a description of a truck that makes his regular deliveries, but nothing on the truck's route or its schedule. It's like this truck just roams the countryside, and anybody put in back just vanishes. What? Well, it isn't supernatural. Here, the Rosario's files have info on the truck's route. I'm sending it to you now. Get okay. your hits on the driver and make him tell you his final destination. Okay, that's so we gotta we gotta that's snag the driver. Me. Let's exfil and get the data to Bowman. Hopefully all right. There's something here we can use. Well. It would appear then that uh, it would appear then that the uh, the bonus medal is sandwiched between three guys down there in this building. I think my best bet for trying to get this is by freeing the prisoners on the other side of the map. Now it's 140 meters, so I don't think I need to factor for too much drop. You're free! You're free! Yay! Now the next thing that I want to do is call in a diversion over there. And let me see if they get here. Now, could I... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You, right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would, I would really like to take this guy out right here. I mean, I, I'm going to do it. Yeah, okay. Sometimes, sometimes they start hunting you, which they obviously did because I took that shot and they, they know where the, they know where the round came from. Uh, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. Uh, the mortars are something that I'm going to need to be very careful about. It looks like the mortars are indeed coming in. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go take that guy and the mortars out right now. Oh, my God. Oh, he's firing on my last known position. Okay, yeah. I definitely need to go on the guy uh, on the mortars right now. Okay, let me go ahead and drop down here. Take cover behind this box. And I should be able to take this guy out fairly easily. No, nah, that building is still in the way. That was my fear, actually. I don't know if I said that in the commentary or not, but I was thinking about that. Like, I, w I don't know if I'll be able to take this guy out. Um, so we'll just take him out with counter mortars. How does that sound? Oh, mortar man. Um, my apologies. Oh, fuck. He went inside. He went inside. He fucking knows. It's like he's a mortar operator and he knows. But I blew up his mortar thing, so who gives a fuck? <laughs> Now, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to get down to that bonus medal, but I am going to try. Um, 
everybody's on alert right now, but it looks like nobody's really around that area. Um, I'm actually, I can, yeah, I can take that guy out. Looks like we've got a heavy back here. Oh, fuck, you're a prisoner. I didn't even see you in there. Oh, my God. Okay, give me a second. I'll help you. Don't worry. I'll help you. I'll help you. Okay, we got one guy right here. You're dead, and you're dead, and you... Fuck! I can't free you. I don't know why. I don't know who you are, but I'm not allowed to free you, apparently. Okay, let's see here. We've got this guy right here. I think he was the one that almost saw me. Yep. Fuck, 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 fuck! Okay, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> Shit! That could have been really, really bad. Uh, that other guy is behind, I think, that cover right there, but it looks like... I should be able to get in and get this bonus medal wherever it's located at. I really want this. I really, really want this. Oh, it's up there! Okay, all right, I got you. I got you. Okay, I'm glad I took this guy out then. Uh, oh, no, 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 no! Shots were heard. I am... I gotta move. I gotta move right now. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Fuck, no! No, take the medal! Don't take cover, take the medal! Okay, uh, he's over here, it looks like. I think I can... Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Okay, he doesn't give a shit anymore. Uh, time to get the fuck out of here. Right now. Uh, they're gonna be coming up these stairs any second here. Looks like there's one right there. Wait for him. No, I'm not gonna be able to get him. Okay, let me see here. Grenade, boom, boom, boom. Let me get a frag out to the- No, I can't get a grenade out to him. Oh, fuck. Yeah, this is, uh, team. Team, uh, go ahead and open fire. Uh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead and open fire. Uh, I- I got a little greedy here. I may or may not have gotten a little greedy. Okay, he's dead. Fantastic. Let me go ahead and- cover the right shoulder here. That guy's way down low, but I think... There we go. I got him. Don't have to worry about him anymore. Now, where are these enemies? Because I know that they're close. Saw some movement right there, but I think I might be okay. This guy right here can die. He died. Great. Uh, one guy right below me. He's dead. Fantastic. Fuck! Time to run! Time to run! Time to run! Time to run! Thank you! <laughs> Took you long enough. Thanks very much, team. I appreciate you. Look out, civilians! Uh, there's some, uh, there's some gunfire going off right now. Okay, get down, get down. There we go. I think I might have blown up a barrel next to him or something like that. I'm gonna counter snipe this guy. Hang on, wait for it. Wait for it. And where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Couldn't get him there! Couldn't get him! Couldn't get him in cover. Got him. I didn't get him! I didn't get him! There's not that much drop. There's not that much drop. Okay, I gotta move a little bit because there's a grenade coming in. God, I just wanted it to pop off! I just like it when I get to shoot and go crazy. There we go. I got him. Looks like we got more guys moving up right over here, but I'm not going to concern myself with them. I am going to, uh, or myself, myself with them. I'm going to get the fuck out of here, you guys. Why? Because the sun's starting to come up, and it's time to fucking go. I don't know if I'll actually be able to get to a decent position. It looks like there's a Kingslayer file up here as well at the observation post that I completely missed, um, but I might maybe be able to get an evac out of here somehow. Um, let me see. It looks like this Oh, I don't know if this is going to actually give me a, um... I don't think it's going to... Oh, shit. Which one is it? It's that one right there? Yeah, it's that one right there. They're coming for me? No, they're not coming down here. Okay. We're hunted right now, but it doesn't... It doesn't look like they're actually coming to me right now. Um... Not going to call in anything just yet until I get in a better position because I need to call in the evac vehicle. Keep in mind that the evac was still kind of up for deliberation. Like, I wasn't sure how the mission was going to was gonna go off, and I did evac on the correct path, I just, um, I just took a little bit longer to do it. Team, if you could, uh, group up, that'd be great. Oh, great, they use their teleport pads. I love it when they do that, they come in handy, man. Dudes, that was epic. Okay, let me go ahead and get, uh, let's get an armored SUV out here. Out here. They handle like a potato. Are you kidding? You could have delivered it out. Yeah, I probably should have called it in back there. But I, I thought that it was going to deliver it to, like, the entrance of the... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Hang on. 280 meters? I can totally make this shot. I can totally make this shot. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? I want to free these guys. I want to free these guys. This will be a fun little send-off from this mission. Where is it? There we go. Right about there. <laughs> Fantastic! Let's get in the armored SUV, you guys, and get the fuck out of here. Mission accomplished. I would say that that went swimmingly, and, I mean, like the first mission, I knew it was gonna Let's pop go. off. We're busting a guy out of prison. Like, it's it's going to be a big shootout. This one, however, all we needed to do was track down the guy's computer. I could have evac after that, but, I mean, I really wanted to get that, uh, I wanted to get that bonus medal. And let me go ahead and find, yeah, we'll end it at Bravo, just like where we started 
we will end it at Bravo. I wonder if I can actually drive. I'm going to do it. I'm going to fucking drive right past this place and see if they notice me. Oh, wait, no. There's a fork in the road, and we go up to the right. All righty. Well, I guess I don't get to drive past it. Kind of do, but not really. <laughs> Looks like they're still having a gunfight down there, but my work is done here, you guys. We're getting the hell out of there. Evacking. Oh, God. Come on, you potato. These things drive like... I swear, man, you'd think they'd have a little bit more oomph, some more torque, but I guess not. Man, that was a blast. I absolutely love Wildlands so much, and that's why I wanted to put that plan together at the beginning of the episode, because I sincerely feel as though plans and execution, contingencies, insurance, um, all of that jazz, it really helps you out in the long run in this game, and it's just... I don't know. It's it's the best way, in my opinion, to get the job done. Um, I also, you know, looking pretty badass helps out a lot, too. I'm really happy I got to use the, um, uh, the new sniper as well. I was a little nervous about implementing a brand new uh, weapon into such a high risk. Um, or not high risk, but uh, you know what I mean. Like a, a stealth operation that could pop off and potentially have a whole bunch of people gunning for us. But that was really smooth. And even though I missed the first shot on the alarm, the very second shot was right on. And I had it from then on out. So anyway, guys, it was a blast. Absolutely large amounts of fun. I just love this fucking game. And I appreciate you guys wholeheartedly for supporting it. The next time that we come back, uh, we'll have... One mission that's queued up right now, it looks like it's interrogate the driver. Our intelligence gathering efforts have revealed the existence of a death truck. The truck that basically drives around the one that the journalist told us about, uh, and it transports corpses to El Pozolero. We need to intercept this truck and interrogate its driver for the location of El Pozolero's operation. So, that is going to be what we do next time. But either way, though, you guys, that is going to do it for this one. Please, if you made it this far, leave a like down below. Support the series and I will catch all of you in the next one. So friends, if you enjoy what you see, and only if, leave a little love in the comment section or leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss the rest or whatever the hell comes next. And as usual, enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you guys again.